so guess what where we are santana Tell me truly in the comment section how many of you already know that these two are two different cities. Yes, it's Buda and Pest. My dear viewers, for all those who didn't know, Buda and Pest are two different cities. Buda located on the hill and Pest on a flat area. They are divided by a lovely Danube river. Yes, the same river that flows in Vienna. If you haven't watched my Vienna vlog, then watch it now by clicking the link on the icon. Is here? Here you find it. So this beautiful river separated these two cities until early 19th century, when a noble king came with an idea to unite by building up the world famous train bridge. So here we go. Welcome back to my channel, Dreamcatcher Mira. with a complete new video series it is about the best european destination in 2019 the capital of hungary which is number 1 on the travel bucket list of most of the people in the world last summer i was in budapest and now you guys might be thinking what took me so long to post it well i had some health issues and also i went to india for a long vacation and in between i didn't get time to edit i am so sorry for that but good part is that i'm back on track and ready to post on my small channel cream catcher mira which needs your love and support so as i move forward with this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for such interesting videos also do not forget to share it with your friends and family members and yeah hit the bell button Before going into detail of each places, let's understand a bit of geography of Budapest. Budapest has 23 districts, but all of them are not worth visiting. The most visited district of it are 1, 5, 6, 7 and 8. I will talk about them in detail in my upcoming videos. But in this video, I will tell you about things to keep in mind. before entering the paris of east yeah you heard me right i said it paris but of east and that's what exactly what this beautiful capital of hungary known as you might be thinking why let me tell you it's because of its beautiful landscape rich in architectural and historical heritage but still somewhere in my mind i don't understand the logic behind it as there is no connection or comparison between these two cities anyways here are some important things that you need to keep in mind before you enter budapest number 1 how to get into this city well you can either by flight train or by road I prefer to travel by bus as I was on a budget tour. Number 2. General information and local tickets. Well, with this there might be a little bit of problem if you land up at the bus station. As when I entered the information desk of this bus station, the lady didn't know English and could not help me out. So it took me more than an hour. and with many rounds here and there searching about the right information about the right travel plan for me but not to worry because now you have the right information there are some ticket automatic machines for the local transport where you can select as per your city and it includes all possible transport of the cities which ranges from 1 day 2 day 3 days or 7 days as i was staying for 5 days i had selected the 7 days because there was not any intermediate option for me the other option is to go to the city center at the information center and you can get a budapest card and all the information about this card you will find in the link given below in the description
Lastly, you can also have the option of hop on hop off bus for the city tour. Number 3. Where to stay? Of course, there are so many options of hotels, but there is also another option that you can choose is Airbnb. For the bonus credit of it, you can click the link in the description below. The other option is the youth hostels, where you can get the cheapest accommodation. As you can see, pop up hostel Citadella. Citadella is the area. This is the main reception. It's the library over there. It's the waiting area. As you can see, my husband sits there. And there are two floors here. I choose the youth hostel but remember with this option you reserve only a bed for yourself and rest you have to share but if you are going as a group you can book the whole room for yourselves there is a common kitchen where you can cook something if you want or prepare a coffee for yourself it is all self-service you have to manage your stuff yourself as you can see over here this is a shared room with two separate be beds it is not necessary that you have to book the complete room you can just book the bed it is possible that uh, not possible it is when you are a single traveler then the other bed will be utilized by uh, another person it i chose to stay in youth hostel for two reasons number one i wanted to have an experience and number two as i said earlier i was on a budget travel and now coming up to our fourth point is food. If you are a non-vegetarian, you have plenty of options. But if you are a vegetarian like me, you are bounded to a limited options. But about them, I will talk in my upcoming videos. So stay tuned and watch the entire series so that you don't miss any important information. Fifth point is where to exchange the currency. Well, it depends totally on you. There are counters all over the cities. You can find them on bus stations, railway stations and airport. There are small kiosks all around the cities who offer these services. But the rate differ at every places. So it's totally up to you whom to trust and where to exchange. This place in the city center is where I used to exchange my currency whenever I needed as I got the best rate of euro here. And last but not the least, the sixth point is language. Well, whatever your mother tongue is, but if you can converse in English, you will generally not find any problem in communication at least in Budapest but there are exceptions everywhere as I mentioned in my previous point I had a tough time communicating on the bus station with the lady to find an information but that is not the end there are always another options which will help you out to communicate further as far as the tourist points are concerned, I did not have any kind of problem communicating with the locals and the information desk of this tourist point. So feel free to roam around in this beautiful lovely city of Hungary. With this I come to an end of this video that is for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if, if not. Do it right now, it's an humble request because it's only because of your support that I get the motivations to film such interesting places. And some more interesting facts are coming up in the next videos. So share it with your friends and family members who are planning to visit Budapest this summer. Closing this video by wishing you a happy journey and a safe journey. Namaste in goodbye and dare to dream, travel to discover with Dreamcatcher Meera. See you next time.